He is with us on Crest Hill Radio 100.9 FM. It's 28 minutes past four, and Melissa Bauer is with us from Grand, the Golden Retriever Rescue, and Belle has accompanied her. She is her personal dog, but I sh- she represents, and that's a perfect shot of her right there. She <laughs> represents all dogs in the Grand Rescue Network and, well, really in any network at all. Um, Melissa, tell me about your work as an attorney and how you mix all of these things together, because you're a very busy woman. I am. Um, I'm actually in-house counsel for a company that's based out of Bloomington, Indiana, mm-hmm. called Author Solutions. Um, so I'm fortunate enough to be able to work from home three days a week. Wow. Drive up to Bloomington two days a week. Amazing. So when I'm working from home, obviously, it gives me a little bit more leeway. Uh, sometimes that means I work till midnight, but I can fit in what I need to fit in during yes, the day. Yes, you can. If Grand needs me to do something. And you don't have to deal with bridge traffic more than twice a week, right? Right. <sighs> well, thankfully, the hours I go, you know, it's so early and so late. Oh, yeah. It's not too bad. I drove across the uh, new bridge for the first time on How Tuesday. How was that? It's, it's a lot more open than the Kennedy. Yeah, I can imagine. It was. It's, it was really nice. I like the idea of when they're going to have one going north and yes. one going south. That's going to make everybody happier. Yes. I wish I could yes. have been on the uh, the big 40,000. <laughs> Whoa, Belle, you're pushing my chair. <laughs> She's a big, strong girl. Uh, I wanted to be on the 40,000 person walk. And it occurred to me, and my friend uh, Sherry Wright shared this, this uh, thought with me. If there was going to be an incident, it would be perfect to have it on a bridge with 40,000 people walking across right. it. Right? Right. So I'm kind of glad I missed it. Well, I was going to. I was going to actually walk it with my dad and my stepmom. But unfortunately, um, they woke up and his ankle was, was uh, swollen. So oh. didn't get to walk it. Well, you know, we're, we, we are where we're meant to be right. at that very moment. Right. And I know a lot of people walk their dogs. Yes. And so the dogs are now completely familiar. And, and do they still not allow dogs on the big four pedestrian bridge? I don't think they do. I don't think they do. I think they stopped. Yeah. People well, weren't cleaning up after their yeah, pets. Yeah. Well, that was like the first two weeks and then they cut it off. And I was just hoping that by showing that, you know, demonstrating that we were trustworthy right. uh, to clean up after our pets that they would allow us back on. But, you know, thank God there are a lot of other great places to walk your dogs. Right. Right. Cherokee Park being one so of them. So many parks yeah. everywhere. Oh, You can just man. find anywhere to walk. The new ones out in uh, eastern Jefferson County are magnificent. Yes. Floyd's Fork and all the rest of them. That's and why I'm so happy. Dog, dog friendly. Yes, yes. That's why I'm so happy for the weather. You know, it gets a little brutal when you're trying to walk your dog and it's 17 degrees outside. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny because last winter I spent a lot of time taking them down to River Road. And, you know, just jumping through the snow drifts because it was like 12, 14 right. inches of snow for weeks at a time. And then the ice would form. But the best day was when it all melted, like the 16 or 15 right. inches of snow melted. And it became little, the tees were little islands. <laughs> and <laughs> the whole golf course was underwater. And my boys would swim out to the island. And then they would stand there oh. being so excited and swim back. And the water was clean. Right. Which was great fun. It's fantastic. I know. I was getting, I was in it too, which is really funny. I was in it up to my knees. But uh, yeah, there are a lot of places to take care of dogs in our town. And, and it's a very dog friendly town. And I know that there's at least one restaurant that lets you come in and eat with your dog. Yes. And tons that have you able to eat with them on the sidewalk. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> and yeah, I just think that makes people want to come and stay a little bit longer if they yeah. can bring their dog and your dog's not sitting at home. Yeah. Have another, I think it's fantastic. Have another glass of wine, another dessert. Yeah. If you've got a great patio, invite dogs. I'll give shout outs to Cashmere and to Grape Leaf. Yes. Because those are two places that I love to go and I love to take my dogs in there. Since Brady was this big, he's right. been lying under the tables at those two places and he still does. He's a perfect gentleman. Oh. Yeah. When he smells something really good, he does what Belle does and he puts his chin up on the table. Right. <laughs> and then I just say down. And, Look at that. There she goes. She's going to see. If, I'm going to put a treat out and see if she'll take it. It'll be kind of funny. 30 spokes. Here he is. Chad Graham with Almira. <laughs> So hard to find But I 
Well, Belle, if you saw Chad Graham, you would agree with me because he is a hunk. <laughs> Plus, he knows how to play the guitar. But oh, mo- oh what a good-looking guy he is. Belle is just, Belle is looking for a boyfriend, I can tell. Yes, yes. <laughs> Let's see, she's 77 now. Right, in right. Dog years. <laughs> but she's doing great. You know, we were just talking about walking our dogs and what a challenge it can be if you haven't trained them since puppyhood. And you said you have two. I do have two, yes. Mm-hmm. And yes. you want to keep it that way because then you can foster. Right, right. So talk to me about the way to train dogs to walk gently, uh, all on leashes with you at the same time. Yeah, I wish I had advice for that. <laughs> 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 I've just gotten really good upper body strength yes. on one side. It's basically how I work that. They walk fine together, but as far as, you know, polite. Yeah, that's. Look at that. Yes. Look at those yes. three. That's not mine at all. <laughs> my, mine are wandering off in different directions, and one wants to stop and smell this, but the other wants to, you know, our walks are not what I would call cardio. Well, I can tell you this, that <laughs> last winter when we had all that horrible ice and snow, they wanted to see somebody. We were walking down the street, and they wanted to see somebody really bad who was coming towards them, and they just lunged. Oh. And one of them had a leash behind me, and one of them had a leash in front of me, and the other one, I don't know where the leash was, but I ended up <laughs> on my butt being dragged yep. <laughs> through the yep. mud and the snow <laughs> yep. and the ice. And thank God the guy who, you know, the guy knew them and they knew his dog. And he was like, Dar, are you okay? Right. <laughs> I said, This is so out of character for them. You know, they've been really, really good. And he, he helped me up, and I just thought, I'm going to kill the three of you. Right. <laughs> but they're, they're awfully good. And, and, you know, she just seems to be the best dog in the world she seems she you knows she, she puts on a good be. face <laughs> we had a talk she before does. we came over she does she puts it's on usually a good the face. squirrels that set her off yeah you know Why she still loves dog. to chase the squirrels isn't that great 11 years later still never caught one no, but no sign of any kind of hip issues or anything she knows a little bit but yeah. you know really for the most part she's doing she's doing good she's you know she's a her. golden so nothing really bothers her yeah, you know, easy going. She's perfectly happy with life. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's just like, uh, just like the happiest little girl in the world, and she has done such a good job of keeping her face toward the camera. Yes. You can see that her face is almost completely white. Yes, but her coat is still glorious red. Yes, yes, that's interesting. Her face actually started going white when she was about four. Really? So she's looked old for a long time. Really, that's yes. really interesting. Yeah, yeah. Well, man, I'll tell you what, she's she's going to have. Uh, 
a raving beauty uh, until she's gone because I, I mean, I've never seen an older dog with this much red. Yeah, it's yeah. It's just beautiful. Um, we're going to talk to Melissa Bauer a little bit more. She's from Grand. It's 22 minutes to 5, and we've got some time, which is great, uh, to give you more information about this wonderful rescue. And I think, who's the person who's coming in at 5? Um, her name's Rachel Swope. She's our volunteer coordinator. Oh, Hopefully good. she'll be here. If she's yes. not working, we're hoping. Good. Yes. Well, I'd like to hear more about the volunteer coordination aspects of Grand. Uh, and we are so lucky to have so many wonderful rescues in this town, and uh, Grand is one of them. Glad to have them here on Wagon Wednesday on Crescent Hill Radio. Here's VHS or Beta. Can't believe a single word.